Good evening and hello world. My name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences of living with Asperger's syndrome or rather um, ASD. A second thing that I will do is give um, my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that are on the spectrum. I also reach out to family members, friends, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody in the community and the like. And finally, what I will do is uh, cover topics uh, occasionally on things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into this latest topic, I have a few things to mention. So for those of you that are new to my channel or new to my blogs, what I typically do is post every Sunday and Monday, or I try to. So please be sure to look for that fresh meat if you're going to subscribe. I also would like to recommend that you check out my written blogs on WordPress.com. That's hello world 240 at WordPress.com. That's hello world 240 at WordPress.com. And what I would like to do now before I get into my uh, topic is uh, mention that I found a TED Talk of a mom who has two kids with autism. And she named her talk, uh, Autism is an Inspiration, Not an Illness. And the reason why I wanted to put that up there is because I'm cross-promoting it. So please be sure to click up here in the upper right-hand corner. That's where you'll find it. And the main reason why I wanted to put it on there is because uh, it goes very well with my topic. So I was listening to her video, and also I like to comment below. As I was commenting and looking and reading, I noticed that there were uh, some people with autism that are some Debbie Downers. And I'm going to say your names, but not your real names, but your screen names. And I wanted to mention, so was, this was a man by the name of uh, John Perkins. Uh, John Perkins uh, said that he looks at autism as an illness and not a gift, and he thinks that's so overly rated. And there were other people on there, someone by the name of uh, Sujitske von Lambusht, and somebody else, and he he basically said that we need to shut up because um, we call autism a gift. And somebody else was agreeing and said, yeah, I know, right. So here's my commentary on that to you guys. I am really sorry to disappoint you, but uh, I disagree with your comments and I disagree with your views on autism. And here's why. Yes, autism can be an illness. It can come with panic attacks. It can come with anxiety. It can come with um, struggles reading cues. It can come with um, barriers that prevent us from making friends and getting married. Yes, it can prevent us from um, seeing things that are in front of us. But with all that being said, um, the best thing that you can do is, yes, acknowledge that you have these things, but look at all the other things that you can do and work around which you can't, and also uh, get with someone like a mentor or perhaps go and uh, listen to a positive psychologist that can help you work this all out. Because um, that kind of an attitude of yours is going to keep you in a corner and it's going to keep you from uh, being a good impact on the world. I mean, yes, you probably struggle with finding work and you struggle with uh, making connections with friends. Some of you can't talk. But you know what? Do not let your autism get to you. I mean, we have many people in the world that had mental illness and they overcame it. Like John Nash, he was schizophrenic. You know what? He had a brilliant mind in mathematics and he won the Nobel Prize. And of course you have Dr. Temple Grandin and she's my hero. And she told me herself never to look at my disability, but rather to look at what I can do and not what I can't. And, you know, I've uh, taken that very seriously. Now, I hate the word disability because it's just overused. Yes, I have disabilities, but I also have something like I like to refer to as the human detour system, which I know is a silly term, but that's uh, called working around what you can't do and focus on what you can do. And I think that's what a lot of you um, who have autism that um, have these negative views on what, what people think autism is a gift. Again, sorry you feel that way. But that's what you need to realize is 
yes, you have all these amazing talents. You may not be a savant that could play the piano or, or be someone who's good at math, but there's always room for self-discovery and there's always room for growth. And, you know, again, one of the things that Dr. Temple uh, told me when I asked her before I shook hands with her uh, a year later is that um, our minds, though autistic, we will never stop growing. I mean, just because you have a mental illness or, or the way you see it that way, you are never going to stop growing as a person. So, anyway, I'm out of time. If you have any questions or comments on what I've just talked about, I'd love to hear from you. But if you're going to call me names and insult me because of what I said, I'm going to have to tell you to hold your comments because um, I will delete them and I will report you. But um, if you like what I talked about, please be sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also be sure to share these with um, your counselors and your peers on the spectrum, anybody because you guys need a positive word of advice. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off.